Teslas hold their value, a supplier gives us some Model 3 production insight, and autopilot cameras hold images in accident situations. Thanks to Electrek for all of our stories today, here are your Tesla tidbits for September 13th, 2016. A new study released today by website Autolist, a site that is much like the airline flight price aggregators out there but for vehicles, finds that the Tesla Model S is the leading luxury sedan in the value retention department. Clobbering most of its internal combustion engine brethren, the Model S beat out all comers. The closest competitor was the Lexus LS460, falling 3% short of the Model S. However, it gets ugly from there, as the nearest competitor following that, the Mercedes S-Class, is a full 10% behind. Bringing up the rear was the Audi A8, languaging 13% behind. Extending the mileage to 100,000 miles widens the gap further. So while depreciation is often overlooked when purchasing a vehicle, Model S owners can rest easy knowing their cars will hold their value longer than any other car in its class. Unless you've been under a rock, you know the Herculean task that Tesla faces in bringing Model 3 to market as soon as is planned. Today we get a little insight from Japanese supplier Fuji Technica and Miyazu on how Tesla is trying to get this done. Fuji is a supplier of dyes, which are the tools that shape parts for manufacturers. A specific interest, Fuji specializes in dyes that shape aluminum parts, since we know that the Model 3 will have steel components as well as aluminum. Seeing them work with a tool, build, tool builder whose forte is shaping aluminum panels would leave one to believe that the exterior will at least be aluminum. In an interview with the Nikkei Asian Review, Fuji says they've been working with Tesla since the early stages of development for Model 3. A representative speaking with the news outlet said, quote, Tesla is a demanding customer, insisting, for example, on retaining a smooth curve on an outer panel regardless of the difficulty it might give the die maker, end quote. Fuji said that Tesla pushed them to redesign the die based on their inputs aimed at mass producing the parts. Tesla is clearly serious about efficiency and reproducibility with the Model 3, and now we get a hard example of their pursuit of this goal. Lastly, everyone's favorite Tesla hacker, Jason Hughes, is at it again, this time tinkering with the autopilot on a wrecked Model S. In his tinkering, he's discovered that the autopilot camera absolutely has some dash cam functionality to it. However, it's just not easy to reach and it's highly impractical. While cleaning up the media centering unit of the vehicle, he found the event data record which contained 8 frames of footage from the autopilot camera before the crash. Interestingly enough, autopilot was not enabled, so it goes to show that the camera is ostensibly always on. However, you don't have access to this footage without some super brains like Jason. The only other way to get it is to request it from Tesla themselves, so make sure you keep your Blackview cam around at least for a little while longer. Be sure to check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks as usual to my super patron, John Baltar, for his support. If you have something to buy from Amazon, please consider using my Amazon link to access the site. That link is bit.ly slash tt Amazon. That's two capital T's and a capital A for Amazon. You can find it in the show description as well. It costs you nothing extra, and they'll kick a little something back to the show for your trouble. Yesterday I gave my thanks for subscriptions and reviews. Today I'll call out the monetary contributions as another round of Patreon deposits recently hit. Thus far, supporters are responsible for $23.03 in support toward my Model 3 dream. I appreciate every penny, guys. It means a lot. If you have feedback for the show, the best way is to find me on Twitter and tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's all for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.